In today's video, we are checking out the Clean My Mac X and let's find out if this is the best application to clean your Mac. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to this video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it would be highly appreciated. So I've been using Mac since 2015. First, I had the MacBook Pro 13 inches and now I'm rocking the MacBook Pro 15 inch and 2015 model. And it's a good machine overall, but all the Macs have this problem. The base model, which our pockets can hardly afford, have this 128 GB and 256 GB storage options. And it only takes few minutes to fill up the storage. So I always have to find some ways to make space by like keeping all my Logic Pro library on my external hard drives deleting apps temporarily, editing videos directly from an external drive. So basically everything has to be done from an external drive. External drives and Macs go hand in hand. Only this was the reason why I was looking for an app to clean the space. So somehow I stumbled upon the Clean My Mac X and this was the only app on the internet which was not looking like a scam and had excellent reviews whereas there are other apps on the web which are known to be a scam but this app could not only make some space for us but also do more fancy stuff like optimizing the system and making it faster protection from malware although the virus is not a significant thing on Macs but it's good to have this feature in one application and along with that we also have uninstaller and shredder and much more features like this so I went ahead and downloaded the free version which had some limited features but eventually I bought the full version but now let's move to the Mac and see how to set it up. So setup is simple just like installing any other Mac application. Download the trial version or you can buy the application and also the links are down below and after downloading that open that up and then you just have to move this to the application folder to install it. And after the app is copied to the folder, all you have to do is just launch the app. Now you will get a license key in the mail if you have purchased the app. Put in the license key, your mail and name. And if you are on trial, you can close this box and use the app. So after setting this all up, you can see the interface of the app, which is quite beautiful. There are all these options in the sidebar, which are sorted according to different sections. But before the app, I want to show you this menu on the top, which shows all the summary of the system like storage space, RAM, network, CPU, etc. So first we have storage. We can see the space on our drive and we can click free up to clear some space. Next to that we have RAM summary and again free up option is there as well. And below we have battery and the apps that are using the most battery. And we can also quit the applications from here. Other than that, there is a trash summary, CPU, network protection and Dropbox. So this provides a glance of the system, but coming back to the app, we can see different sections on the sidebar are sorted. So starting with the smart scan, which is a quick way to scan and optimize, we can click that and it will scan the Mac and delete all the unnecessary junk, free up some RAM and flush DNS cache, which is a quick and easy way. So let's do it. So as you can see, I had quite a bit of junk, like 11.98 GB of junk. The protection is okay and speed increases system performance for tasks to run. So these are the junk details. So as you can see, user cache is around 10 and a half GB. So that's quite a bit. So let's go back to the summary and run this and clean all this junk. So it needs to quit the Firefox. Let's quit. So it is now performing all the tasks and removing all the unnecessary files. So sometimes you also have to put the admin password to clean up the system junk. So the results are here, it cleaned 11.98 GB. The system is now protected. So those were the results, but now let's move to the individual section. As you can see, there are multiple sections like cleanup, protection, speed, application, and files. And all these tasks can be individually run from here. So let's start with cleanup section and the system junk. 
So it will scan for temporary files and remove all the files that are not required by the system and end up making some space for us. Like you saw earlier, we cleared almost 11 and a half GB of storage. Now photo junk is another section here. So you can clear out some photo library junk from here. As I have no library in this Mac, so it says no photo library found. Next up, we have mail attachment, iTunes junk and trash. And they all works as the name suggests. And this is what I love about this app is that it is so intuitive. We don't have to be a computer expert to optimize the Mac. Although I consider myself in somewhat of an advanced state in computer and Mac, but it is so simple that even a kid can use this app. Anyways, moving to the next section, which is protection. And here we can scan for malware and protect the Mac. So it removes all the malicious files and protects the Mac. So you can scan from here. But this was already done in the smart scan. So we don't have to do it now. So next up we have privacy. So this is the privacy protection section. We can scan for browsing data and clear that out. But I use this cookie app which deletes all the browsers data. So that's the second app that I use. Anyways, the next section is about speed and and we can see all the tasks that starts as soon as the Mac is turned on and we can disable those bye bye google update service now maintenance is also a place where you can run tasks individually most of the tasks are done if you run the smart scan but if you want to run a specific task then you can come here and do that the application section is where we can manage our apps and from here we can uninstall the apps properly like removing all the files that most of the programs leave if you just delete the app from the finder so updater is a section where you can update your apps you can update from here or you can go to the developer's website and do it from there. But this is quite convenient that you can select all the apps you need to update and then just click on update. But I'm not going to do it now. Now moving on to extensions. From here we have all the extensions. We can see all the extensions, delete them or disable them. And the last section is about files. So this is where you can manage your files. So Spacelens gives an overview of the files. As we can see on the about the Mac page, from the storage and it gives a summary of the storage so you can see the result where is all the storage is going like 112 gb in user folder 48 gb in application and all that stuff but moving on to the large and old files here you can see all the old and large files which are taking up space like these video files and you can find those files and delete them and do whatever you want and last one is our good old friend shredder where you can delete your files securely. And that's pretty much it for these sections. You can also play with some settings if you would like to. But as you can see, the app is very user friendly and it is easy to use and anyone can use the app. And talking about the price, the app comes with two subscription models. One is the per year model and the second one is one time lifetime purchase, which is what I think is the best way. You end up saving a lot of money if you don't switch to a Windows PC in upcoming years. So you can buy any of the subscription for one or multiple number of Macs. For one Mac, we have to pay $39.95 or 3,114 rupees per year. But as of now, it's available for $35.95 or 2,724 rupees per year. And if you go with one-time purchase, it will cost you $89.95 or 7011 rupees so if you plan to stick to mac for more than two years then the lifetime plan would be the best otherwise you can go with one year plan and both plans come with 30 day money back guarantee so that's good to hear and again the affiliate links are down below and you can buy from there and support the channel but overall, I would say I love this app and totally recommend it. It's a straightforward app that does what it says, cleans the Mac. But anyways, that was today's video. Hope you guys found it helpful. And if you did, just click the like button below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.